Tai Chi is a unique exercise. It requires coordination of mind, breathing, and movements. Tai Chi practice can help to relax and balance the body and mind. It can also help you feel more energetic. Yang Style Tai Chi 24 Form gives the beginner an introduction to the essential elements of Tai Chi, while retaining the traditional flavor of Yang Style longer traditional forms. It is the most popular Tai Chi form in China and worldwide.
stand upright, feet together. Take a left step. Raise hands slowly and evenly to shoulder level. Hands sink down gradually. Relax body continuously. Move the weight to the right leg to form an empty step and hold the ball. Take a bow step. Left hand rises to shoulder level, and right hand presses down to hip area. Rotate the left foot. Form an empty step. And hold the ball. Take a bow step. Right hand goes up, and left hand goes down. Rotate the right foot. Form an empty step, and hold the ball. Take a bow step. Left hand goes up, and right hand goes down. Right foot takes a step, form an empty step, and hold the ball. The right hand goes up, and the left hand goes down. Rotate the right heel. Both hands perform a semicircle movement and hold a yin yang fish. Rush left knee and push right hand. Forward. Rotate the left heel. Both hands perform a semicircle movement and hold a fish. Brush right knee. Push left hand forward. Rotate the right heel. Both hands perform a semicircle movement and hold a fish. Brush left knee and push right hand forward. Right foot takes a step. Pull in. Sink down elbows, raise hands and land on the heel. Left foot step back, right hand rotates, moves up and then pushes forward. Right foot steps back. Left hand rotates, moves up, and then pushes forward. Step back and roll hands again. Step back and roll hands again. Rotate the foot. Form an empty step and hold a ball. Take a bow step and ward off. Deflect. Push. Pull in. Press.
rotate the left heel, form an empty step, and hold the ball. Take a bow step and ward off. Deflect. Push. Pull in. Press. Rotate both arms. Right hand bunches a hook. Form an empty step. Take a left step. Rotate and push left hand. Land left foot and grind right foot. Rotate the left heel. Move the right foot. To the left, and wave hands to the left. Left foot takes a lateral step. Wave hands to the right. Wave hands like clouds again. Wave hands like clouds again. Bunch a hook and form an empty step. Take a left step, rotate, and push left hand. Land left foot and grind right foot. Right foot takes a step and forms an empty step. Right palm pats forward. Take a left bow step, and then form an empty step. Cross hands in front of the chest. Raise the right knee, and then kick with right heel. Palms separate and move outward. Drop the right foot. Draw both palms back to the outside of the right knee. Take a bow step. Change palms into fists and strike on the opponent's ears. Rotate the right heel and form an empty step while crossing hands. Raise the left knee and then kick with the left heel. Palms separate. And move outward. Left leg pulls in. Left hand moves to the right axilla. Take a crouch step. Left hand threads from chest to abdomen, along the inside of the leg. Stand on the left leg. Right hand goes up. Left hand goes down. Land on the right toe. Rotate the left heel. Right hand move to the left axilla. Right leg takes a crouch step. Right palm threads from chest to abdomen along the inside of the leg. Stand on the right leg. Left hand goes up. Right hand. Goes down. Take a left step. Form an empty step and hold a ball. Right foot takes a bow step. 
Right arm rotates and blocks up. Left palm pushes out. Rotate the right heel. Form an empty step and hold a ball. Left foot takes the bow step. Left arm rotates and blocks up. Right palm pushes out. Right foot takes a half step. Raise both hands. Brush the left knee and needle the right hand down. Raise hands. Left foot takes a bow step. Right palm blocks up and left palm pushes forward. Rotate the left heel. Turn body. Right fist moves out, and the right foot takes a step forward. Left foot takes a step forward, with the left hand doing a parry, and then the right fist punches forward. Both hands pull inward and downward. Then press both hands upward and forward. Rotate the left heel. Rotate the right heel. Open the arms and separate the hands. Cross the hands in front of the chest. Press both hands down gently. Until they rest beside the hips. Put feet together, and gently put hands along the sides. Ready position. Relax your body. Feel peaceful. Concentrate on Dantian. Take step. Commencing form. Rise up. Sinking down. Bend your knees slightly. Hold the ball. Take step. Part of the span to the left. Rotate. Hold the ball. Part of the span to the right. Rotate. Hold the ball. Part of this man to the left. Half step. Hold the ball. White crane spreads its wings. Rotate. Hold a fish. Rush your knee. Twist step. Rotate your left heel. Hold a fish. Rush your knee. Twist step. Rotate your right heel. Semicircle. Hold a fish. Rush your knee. Twist step. Pull in. Sinking down your elbows, rise up and strong the root. Rotate your hands. Step back. Pull hands. 
Step back. Whoa, hands. Step back. Whoa, hands again. And again. Push. Rotate. Hold the ball. Body off. Stand up. Deflecting. Pushing. Pulling. Pressing. Rotate. Hold the ball. Body off. Stand up. Deflecting. Pushing. Pulling. Pressing. Rotate your right heel. Wave hands. Push out. Bunch your hook. Take step. Single whip. Rotate left heel. Wave hands like clouds. Wave. Wave. Bunch of hook. Single whip. Rotate your hands. Half step. Head high on the horse. Bow step. Jaw circle. Raise up. A kick. With jaw, take step. Strike. Rotate right heel. Cross hands, raise up, a kick, close, crouch step, push down, rotate your feet, blue star, stand on one leg, drop the foot, rotate to the left, Push down. Rotate your feet. Rooster, stand on one leg. Take step. Hold the ball. Straight lady, walk shuttles. Push, landing. Rotate your right heel. Hold the ball, take step, rotate, landing and pushing. Half step, raise up. Rush your knee, thrust to the bottom of the sea. Raise up, take step, push through the back. Rotate your left heel. Pull in. Move out. Harry. Next step, punch. Pull in. Apparent close up. Press in. Rotate the left heel. Rotate the right heel. Crossing your hands. Sinking down. Closing form. Feet together. Send the energy back to Dantian. 
feel relaxed and peaceful. Now I would like to introduce the basic foundations of our uh, Tai Chi. First thing I would like to introduce is the bow step. Bow step is the most commonly used step in our Tai Chi. One foot face to the front, another foot 45 degree diagonally. One leg bent like a bow, another leg straight like an arrow. Make sure the knee and the toe face to the same direction. This way can protect the knee. And please do not bend the knee too much. If you bend the knee too much, then we'll give too much pressure on the knee. Generally speaking, we can still see the edge of our shoe. That's the proper bow step. Another thing I would like to mention is two feet need to stand on each side of the midline. Imagine there is a midline. The left foot stand the left side of that midline, and right leg uh, foot stand on the other side of the midline. Imagine if both feet stand on two lines, then the transverse width between between the two lines should be twenty to thirty centimeters. Keep your body upright, feel stable, and there is a little exercise can help us to build up a good foundation of both step. You can rotate the left heel, shift the weight, take step, and form another bow step. Then you can rotate the right heel, take step, shift the weight, and another bow step. If you have a nice space to do that in the living room or in your garden, you can stand from one side of your room, and then you practice your bow step, step by step, and go to the other side of the room. Make sure the center of your gravity stay on one line, not to be up and down, always stay the same level. That's the bow step. The second step I would like to introduce is the empty step. Stand on one leg, sitting on the right leg, for example. The left foot land on the ground with the ball of the foot. Majority of the weight goes to the right foot. Sometimes we can land with the heel and make a heel empty step. This step is very agile in the martial arts. It can move forward or move backward easily. In our Tai Chi, this is one of the most common steps again. Third step I would like to mention is called crouch step. Squatting on one leg and the other leg straight. Heel of the foot hold out. We always use step in the push down form, a push down movement. The other side is the same. It's a crouch step. Squatting on one leg, straighten the other leg. Crouching step. Rotate the foot, and then we can shift the weight and move to another movement. Usually, it's a standing 
the rooster stand on one leg. Another step I would like to mention is the horse step. Feet parallel to each other. Keep your body upright. Weight distributed on both legs evenly. Horse step. Now, I would like to introduce the palm of Tai Chi. Tai Chi palm is a very relaxed palm. Just imagine you put your hand above a balloon and relax your fingers. That's the palm we need in our Tai Chi practice. Tai Chi fist. The first joint of the thumb rest on the second joint, index finger and middle finger. That's a Tai Chi fist. Make sure you don't crunch it too tightly. Loosely form the fist. Tai Chi hook. Put your five fingers together, tip of the fingers together to form a hook. Tai Chi hook. Now I would like to introduce the body position. Body position usually in our Tai Chi practice need to be upright. Not lean forward, lean backwards or side. Keep upright. And also relaxed. So upright and relaxed is our body position. This upright and relaxed position can build up a good habit, not only in our Tai Chi practice, also the habits can go into our daily life. That can help release the tension and build up a good balance. Now I would like to introduce the breathing coordination. Usually, when we holding, pulling, or rotating, we inhale. When we push, pressing, spreading, punching, or kicking, we exhale. So that's the principles. There, there are some exceptions we will mention later uh, in the real practice. Now, we'd like to introduce the mind concentration in our Tai Chi. Mind concentration is very unique in the Tai Chi and Qigong practice. If we can focus our mind on the practice, then we can feel the energy flow. Also, we can feel how relaxed we are and how peaceful we are. So that is going to help us to get more benefit in the practice. So mind need to be here. Clear all the thoughts from your brain. Ready position, relax, concentrate on Dantian, relax, it's easy to say, but some people feel very difficult to do. In this practice, I would like to introduce a simple way to relax. We relax from the head to the toes. Now, relax the head, neck, shoulders, arms, elbows, 
wrists, hands, back, chest, abdomen, buttock, hips, legs, knees, ankles, feet. Just relax part by part of the body till you feel relaxed completely. Usually when you feel relaxed, you will feel the upper part of the body very light. And the feet becomes very heavy. Concentrate on Dan Tian. Dan Tian is located on the midline, three to four fingers underneath the navel. It's a bowl shaped area. This is the home of Qi, of our life energy called Qi. In our Tai Chi practice, quite often we need to think about send the Qi back to Dan Tian or concentrate on Dan Tian. When we are ready, we start the commencing form. Take a step. Shoulder width, raise up to shoulder level, sinking down, relax continuously. Bend your knees slightly. This will set up a good tune for the rest of the forms. Set up the height of our gravity. Also set up a good, relaxed and peaceful mood. Hold the ball, cultivate the energy. Take a step, part horses man to the left. Rotate, hold the ball, part horses man to the right. Rotate, hold the ball, part horses man to the left. From this movement, you can see we do three bow steps in a row. Make sure gravity is moving on one level height, not goes up and down. Also, when we do this part of this man, try to use our waist to guide the movement. When the waist is moving, you can avoid the tension build up in the shoulders. Okay, so we'll do it again. Use the waist to guide. Go. And both step, make sure not stand on one line, not stand on one line. Stand on two lines. Continue, hold the ball, white crane spreads its wings. White crane spreads its wings. We steal the sand, use the waist, guide the movement, and do a curve movement of the, the hands. Doing a curve, then I can avoid stiffness or any tension build up. Feels like the body is sitting in a balloon, full and gentle. There is a very common mistake here, may happen, is some people will think Tai Chi is very soft or gentle. So they will do it a little bit too slack. No energy inside, too slack. So the proper way should be full of energy, extended gracefully. That's the way of our 
uh, white crane spreads its wings. Rotate, hold a fish. Rush on it. Twist step. Rotate, hold a fish. Brush your knee, twist step. Rotate, hold a fish. Brush your knee, twist step. So this is another three bow steps. The same, need to let the gravity stay the same level. And use our waist to guide the movement. And the push need to be in a curved line, not to push in straight line. When we hold a fish, make curved line, semicircle movement. This is to hold a yin yang fish. Brush your knee and twist step. Pull in, sinking down, raise up, hands strum the root. This is a very small movement, but we need to make sure. Pull in, sinking down, and raise up. The feeling is there. And also the tip of the fing fingers, the same level as your nose. Tip of the fingers, the same vertical line as the toes. As the hands strum the lute. Rotate, step back, four hands. Step back, four hands. Step back, four hands. Step back, four hands. So this is four steps, go backwards. Make sure the waist is guiding the movement. And the arm is doing a long distance curve movement to push. This can avoid the tension build up on the shoulder and neck. Right. Do it very smoothly and naturally. Now I'm going to introduce the attacking and defending meaning of those movements. Uh, the reason why I would like to introduce the attacking and defending meaning is because all of Tai Chi movements come from the martial arts. If we know the meanings of those movements, it can help us to remember how to do it properly. So we start from commencing form. Part of man is to pull the enemy's arm and then use another, another arm to push or press the opponent. Usually you can put the leg behind the opponent's leg and then you push can make the opponent lose balance. White crane spreads the winds. Is to use one arm, one hand to pull another hand, and the other hand can do the attack with elbow or shoulder. If the opponent is behind you, can use the shoulder and elbow to attack. If it's in front of you, you can, if two fists come in, you can use one hand to break one fist away, another hand to break or to block another fist away. And then you can kick to the opponent's groin area or lower abdomen area. 
hold a fish, brush your knee, and push is to defense with the left hand. If, for example, someone is kicking, you defense and then attack. Hands, strum the root, use one hand to hold enemy's elbow, another hand hold enemy's hand and then push. That's the meaning of this uh, movement. And step back wall hands is attack. Step back, attack. Right? Now, I would like to introduce the breathing of these uh, six movements. Ready position, we breathe naturally. Inhale, take step. Exhale, relax. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, sinking down. Bend your knees. Inhale, holding. Exhale, party. Inhale, holding. Exhale, party. In, holding. Ex, party. In, holding. Ex, spreading. In, holding. Expressing. In holding. Expressing. In holding. Expressing. In pulling. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, push. In, rotate. Exhale, push. In, rotate. Exhale, push. In, rotate. Exhale, push. Okay, so that's the breathing of our six forms. Now I'm going to introduce the second paragraph. Another six forms. Start from step back and wall hands. Rotate, hold the ball, take step, holding off, stand up, rotate, deflecting, pushing, pulling. And pressing. This cross peacock tail is a very typical Tai Chi movement, and lots of coordination required in this movement. Some of the masters say, if you can do this one well, you got half of the Tai Chi. And uh, when we do those movements, we try to connect them smoothly. Use your waist to guide the movement. Prevent any stiffness happening in your shoulders. Another thing is when we do those movements, we can feel the center of our gravity 
is moving to the front, to the left, and then move to the right, then they move to the left. So right, left, right, left, like a pendulum. So those movements, we need to make it very even, like pendulum moving. Smooth, even, and gradually. This can help uh, make the whole form look graceful and uh, nice. OK, the, the other side, after pressing, the other side is the same. Hold the ball. Go. Warding off. Stand up. Deflecting. Pushing. Pulling. Pressing. Doing the same. Uh, very graceful and smooth with the, the waist. Rotate. Wave hands. Push out. Take step. Single whip. This single whip is not a long movement, but very easy. Uh, we will do it a little bit stiff. So the key to prevent the stiffness is to do those movements all together. Rotate, pushing the left hand and landing the left foot and grinding the right foot all together. Then we'll make it nice and smooth. We'll do it again. Rotate, push out, bunch your hook, take step, rotate, pushing, landing, grinding, single whip. Wave hands like clouds. Wave, another wave, another wave, three waves. Wave hands like clouds. Finish with a single whip again. So, lots of waves happening here. It looks very graceful, but needs lots of uh, coordination also. A few things we'd like to mention. First thing, we need to make your knees bend. Once your knees bend, then you can feel all the other joints are free to move. If we stand straight and the, the joints feel stiff. So bend the knees slightly. Keep your body upright. Because when you move, if the body lean forward or lean backwards, who goes to the side, you're going to lose balance. So keep the body upright, knees bent, hands no higher than your forehead, yeah, lower than your forehead. And then move smoothly to the waves. So from here, Wave, first wave. Bunch your hook, take step, single whip. Now continue. Another wave, more waves. Wave to the end and push. Bunch your hook, take step. Single whip. Rotate hands. Half step. Pad high on the horse. Pad high on the horse. Need to pad high. We say high, it's chin high. So pad, chin level. We'd like to mention the difference between this one and the 
uh, step back wall hands. Step back and wall hands. The hand is chest level. This one, pad high, is chin level. Left hand, step back and wall hands. Left hand is next to the ribs, finish next to the ribs. Pad high on the horse, finish next to the lower abdomen. Also, there is a little bit difference between the foot. Step back and wall hands. The right hand push out and right foot in the front. Pat high on the horse. The left foot in the front and a pat. So that's uh, the difference between uh, these two forms. Now, I would like to introduce the attacking and defending meanings of those uh, six forms. Start from step back and wall hands. Hold the ball, warding off. Is to pull the opponent's hand or arm and then push the opponent and throw it away, uh, throw the opponent away. Deflecting is a defense to take the force from the opponent. A fist, a weapon, or leg, let it go to the side of your body, disappear. Quite often the opponents will lose balance. Push is attack, push. Pui, take the power, send it to the ground. Pressing is attack. From the deflecting and pulling, you see, is curve movement, but take the power away. This is a very useful philosophy. Uh, you will find more and more those philosophies hidden in our Tai Chi practice. For example, this one can indicate when something happened, not the good way to fight back because the, the enemy is attacking you with the force and momentum. If you fight back, it's going to hurt yourself. So, direct the force to the side and then you can, you can push back later. In our daily life, it's the same. It's not the best way to fight back. The best way is to put away and then discuss later. All right? Now the other side of the sand, cross peacock's tail, the sand. Pressing, single whip. It hold opponent's arm and attack with a whip. That is attack. Wave hands like clouds is a defense with one hand to block the opponent's fist away. And then another hand goes to the axilla and chest area to wave and push the opponent away. So wave hands like clouds. Single whip is a pull and attack again. Pat high, attack, pat. Okay, now I'm going to introduce the breathing coordination in those movements. Uh, aft, step back and roll hands. Inhale, holding. Exhale, warding. 
Inhale, defracting. Exhale, pushing. Inhale, pulling. Exhale, pressing. Inhale, holding. Exhale, holding. Inhale, defracting. Exhale, pushing. Inhale, pulling. Exhale, pressing. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, push. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, push. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, step in. Inhale, wave to the right. Exhale, wave in. Inhale, wave to the right. Exhale, wave to the left. Inhale, exhale, push. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, push. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, pad high on the horse. Okay, that's the breathing coordination of the last six forms. Now I'm going to introduce a third paragraph, six forms. Start from pad high on the horse. Take step, jaw circle, and kick. Now, this kick, lots of people will worry I'm going to lose balance with the kick. We will say the confidence is half success. So the most important thing is not to worry about losing balance. Feel confident, and then you'll do much better. Another thing is when you kick, bend knees, bend the left knee, uh, left knee bend, and then you can feel more stable. If straight, you're going to lose balance. Kick with the heel and the hand face to the same direction is another key. Kick. Next up, and strike. Make sure the elbows bent. Feel the energy inside. You strike. Feel powerful. Rotate the right heel. Cross your hands. Left hand outside this time. Raise up. Another kick. The same. Bend your right knee. Feel confident and the left hand, left foot face to the same direction. Push down. Sit on the right leg. Left leg straight is a crouch step. Push down. Rotate the left heel, right heel, left heel. Rotate the feet, important, because then you can stand up without difficulties. Rooster, stand on one leg. Crouch step. When we do the crouch step, we make sure the position of the body face to the right a little bit. And then we can push down properly. Before we stand up, we make sure we rotate the left heel anti-clockwise, and the right heel anti-clockwise, and the left heel again, face to the corner in the end. 
and then ready to stand up with a rooster stand on one leg. Rooster stand on one leg the same, feel confident, left knee bent, and fingers, nose level. Drop the foot, rotate, face to the left a little bit, push down, crouch step. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Then, rooster stand on one leg. Take step. When we take step, usually we do the both step, face to the front, the foot. But this one, we need 30 degree diagonal uh, angle. So we take step to that direction, hold the ball, take step, jet lady walk shuttles. This movement, when we rotate the right hand and push the left palm at the same time as landing. So Block, push, and land all do together. That is going to make it uh, look much more graceful. Again, hold the ball, take step, rotate, landing, and pushing. Rotate the right heel, hold the ball, take step, rotate, push, and land at the same time. Jet lady walk shuttles. Okay. Now I'm going to introduce the attacking and defending meaning of those six forms. After pat high on the horse, kick obviously is attack, kick. Strike. Another attack, kick, another attack again, push down, is a hand, thread from the chest, from axillary chest, abdomen, inside of the leg, threads out and attack the opponent's soft area. Rooster stand on one leg. One hand, attack, knee, attack. There is a saying in the martial arts, if it's far, we attack with the foot, kick. If it's close, we attack with elbow or the knee. Now this one we attack with the knee. The other side, the same. Push it down. Rotate, rotate, and rotate. Attack the hand and knee. Hold. Walk the shot holes. Block up, defense, attack, push. The other side of the sand. Block up and push be the sand. Now, I'm going to introduce the breathing of those uh, six movements. Pad high. Inhale, cross. Exhale, bow step. In, cross. Exhale, a kick. In, pulling. Exhale, strike. Inhale, cross. Exhale, a kick. E cross. X push. E point. 
x rise up. E x push. E point x rise up. E holding x push. E holding x push. Now oh, that's the breathing of those movements. Now I'm going to introduce the last paragraph, the last six forms of our Yan style 24 forms. We start from Jade Lady Walk Shuttles. Half step, raise up, needle to the bottom of the sea. Use our waist to guide the movement as usual. Brush your knee, thrust. The most common mistake is not a thrust. Some people do a chopping. Chopping action is not right in this movement. You need to have a thrust, needle action. Right? Raise up, push through the back. Push through the back. If we want to do it smoothly, we need to rotate the right hand, push the left palm, and landing the left foot all together. Then we'll make it smooth. Raise up, take step, rotate, push, landing. Rotate, pull in, move out. Parry and a punch. This move out, parry and a punch. Try to make sure the feet move lightly and smoothly. And use your waist to guide the movement. We'll make the whole movement smooth. We'll do again. Rotate, pull in, move out, parry, and punch. Pull in, pressing. Pull in and pressing. Try not to get the straight line movement again. Curve movement, pull in. Curve movement, push out. Rotate the left heel and right heel. Cross your hands. Send the energy back to Dantian. Put your feet together. Last a few movements. Looks very easy, but the key is to get the energy back of the chi back into the body. Send chi back to Dantian. So you get a feeling of good completion. Feel relaxed and energetic. Now I would like to introduce the attacking and defending meaning of those movements. Jet lady, needle is attack, defending with the left palm. And then thrust is attack, 
Raise up. Push through the back is to defend with the right palm and attack with the left palm. Or pull with the right hand and attack with the left palm. Rotate. Move out. Parry and punch. Move out. Attack with the heel. Move out is to press against opponent and push them away. Parry, defending, punch, attack. Pull in, pull in and pressing. This movement is to build up a fence of yourself or like close the door, close the opponents away and push. Rotate, cross your hands is a defense, protect yourself and then finish. We'd like to introduce the breathing of those movements. Jelly Lady walk shuttles. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, thrust. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, push. In, rotate. Exhale, move out. E parry. X punch. E pulling. X pressing. E X. E crossing. X pressing. In, put feet together. Exhale, relax. Finish. Now we're nearly in the end of our lesson. Hope this has helped you to open the door of Yang Style Tai Chi Treasure House. I hope you will keep learning, practicing, and exploring so that you can get more and more benefits in your future practice. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to meeting you very soon. <laughs>